Okay, now we're going to try to consist these two locomotives. I have my EMD F3 in the front and my Cato uh, EMD NW2 here uh, actually turned around backwards will be my second locomotive. Now, it turns out that getting the directions right is just a little bit tricky, but it's not hard. So here's how we're going to do this. First of all, we're going to set the direction for each locomotive. So, Alright, so we're going to select 52.78 and we are going to set the direction for it to be reversed. Okay, so we want it moving in this physical direction. Now, we're going to hit recall and select number 66.11 here. We want it to be going forward. Check it. Okay, good. Now, I'm not going to couple the two together because I want you to see them moving separately. Um, the next step is, is to combine them together into a multiple unit or MU uh, consist. So to do that, you have your lead locomotive or the locomotive whose address you want to use. It doesn't have to be the lead one, but it makes sense. It's easiest to remember. Select it. Direction set. You're going to hit the MU button and you're going to type in the address of the locomotive you want to add. 5, 2, 7, 8, and hit the plus key, and boom, it, if everything works well, it goes back to the lead locomotive's address. Now, if we did this correctly, when I turn the throttle up, both locomotives should move this direction. And so they do. Now, these aren't speed matched, so they move at slightly different speeds in the same direction, but they do move in the same direction. And if I do couple them together, they'll run together. Now, to remove the locomotive from the consist. You need to select that locomotive. So we'll type in the number. We'll hit loco 5278. Okay, you'll notice the MU button is lit up, and that means it's part of a consist and it can't be controlled separately. So we hit the MU button and then minus. You notice the light goes out, and now 5278 can be controlled independently of 6611. That's all there is to it, really. I'd like to show you how easy it is to add and remove a helper locomotives using this universal consisting. So, uh, as we did before, uh, we're going to go and I'm going to select our 5278, which is our chassis. Uh, okay, here we go. And move him forward in this. Make sure. He said in reverse because we want him to go this direction. Now we're going to select our 6611, which is just off the screen here to your right. And we're going to back him up into the picture here. Now this is the part that I want to point out here. You need to make sure before you start MUing your additional locomotives that you set the direction for your lead locomotive to the direction you want him to go. If you don't, and this is easy to forget, then they're going to go in the wrong directions. Okay, we're going to have it set in reverse. And we're going to back it up here until it couples. Okay, now it's in reverse. So now we're going to go loco 6611. So now we've got our lead locomotive selected. I'm going to make sure that he's set to forward direction. And then I'm going to connect the two. MU5278 plus. Now 5278's been added to the MU. And they will both drive together in the forward and reverse directions. So now we're going to take our two unit consist and we're going to back up here. And we're going to hook up to this very, very heavy hopper car. Oh my, oh my, oh my, we're having much, much trouble connecting. We need a helper. So, we're going to select 6411, which is my third locomotive. He's off here to the right. We're going to run him up here to the rescue. Here he comes onto the scene. Run him up a couple. Okay. Now we're going to switch to 66. One one. He's our lead locomotive. Still set to forward. Mu six four one one. Add it. 
Now I've got all three locomotives under power. Now one of the things you're going to notice is that because the uh, speed matching is so far off, this doesn't actually work very well with my 6411. He tends to be a drag on the other two. So we're going to remove him. Now I don't have any magic uncoupler here, so I'm going to have to do that part by hand. Okay, now I'm going to punch in the locomotive, 6411. Loco. MU minus to take him out of the multiple unit. I use my recall stack to go grab 6611, which includes the whole MU, and we'll run them off the stage. Very simple. And that's all there is to it. Now, one of the things that you can do under DCC is to control one DC locomotive uh, while you're controlling all your other DCC based locomotives. This is a less than ideal solution, but it is a way to use one of your favorite engines before you um, are able to add a decoder and convert it to DCC. So I'm going to demonstrate that and show you what some of the downsides are. This is my basic Bachmann Santa Fe DC locomotive, and it's a GB40. I'm going to put it onto the track here, and you're immediately going to hear one of the major drawbacks. When a DC locomotive is sitting on a DCC track and it is not moving, the DCC track voltage is causing the motor to reverse direction very, very rapidly. And it causes this buzzing sound that you can hear, that high-pitched buzz. It will also cause the headlights to come on at full power. Now to control the DC locomotive, you use the special address 00. So if we punch in loco, 00, zero loco, I can now control my DC locomotive with my DCC controller. Seems I don't quite have him. There we go. And as you can see, the, the noise is not uh, not terribly pleasant, but he is functional. And you can even set him to move at a slow rate of speed. And at the same time, you can try 6411. You can run another locomotive along with it. Ta -da. Oops. And you get the idea. It's not a good idea to leave a DC locomotive sitting for very long like this. The motor will overheat and damage itself if it's sitting still. As long as you keep it moving, it is okay, although the noise is rather unpleasant. But it will work. And so that's all there is to running a DC engine under DCC. You can only control one at a time. Uh, but if you've got that one favorite engine that you just don't have time to put a decoder in, but you really want to use it, you can. So there you go.